All right, so we're gonna give a battery health test. You can see some of the bits here, and then vehicles in park, some of the extra details here, and then we'll start the test. We're at 2%, so shows about 13 hours. It'll discharge the battery all the way. Uh, so I think it's just gonna run the heater until it hits zero, and then it's gonna recharge it to 100%. And we will give you the updates for when this is complete and show you what our battery degradation is. After 47,000 miles, this is a 2019 Tesla Model 3 performance. And I would say I've babied it quite a bit. Don't even charge up to 80% all the time, but haven't really done one of these and don't really discharge it all the way to zero and then charge it up to 100. So I guess we'll see what happens. While I'm running this test, it is making some fun noises. So trying to get rid of all that energy, the 2% left that it has. So maybe a, probably less than a kilowatt hour. Maybe, maybe a couple kilowatt hours, but we'll see what it ends up with. Hopefully it doesn't blow up in the garage. About 13, 14 hours later, test is done. Look at that. We've lost 11%. Halfway into or at 47,000 miles. Not super great. It's been five ish years. This is a 2019, it's 2025. Uh, it'll be six years in August. So there you have it. That's our battery health test. Also, if we look at the reading up here, this was originally rated for 301 miles. So now it's 281. So a loss of 20 miles in 47,000 miles. So if you think about at 100,000 miles, if you lose another 20%, you're at 261. And then 150,000 miles, which most people don't really get to, you're looking at 241. And if that works the way, looking at 200,000, we're looking at 221 in terms of range. So that's what we have thus far. I guess we will continue updating you as we go along the ride of owning this car.